Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope you everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. Um, so with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And um, if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, if you feel like the video just gives good vibes that you really, you know, you vibing with and you want to share it with somebody else to vibe to, maybe able to be vibing higher, please go ahead and share that. You know, it's truly appreciated. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101, Hey Oka's Collapse uh, collapse of the Karmic Timelines that is helping you push forward into true alignment. And that is so true. You know, a lot of times it's hard for us to be able to look at our karmic cycles, experiences, or connections, or ties as something as positive. There's always a hairy, hairy, I say hairy, hairy and heavy narrative to it, you know, and it, it just takes you to go through that, that, um, through that experience of a lot of growth, a lot of spiritual healing that you have gone through and say, you know what, I appreciate what that situation brought me to. Even though it put me through a lot of hell, it, it annoyed me, it aggravated me, me want to pull all my hair out, it just made me want to just have a whole fit and nerves break down. But look how far it has gotten me into my life. You know, I, I, I've told y'all a lot of times about, you know, different toxic relationships that I've been in and it it really taught me a lot you know it, it's just like i can really say at that point you know i used to you know when i used to kick with my girls and stuff like that i'm like man i wish i never met such and such and such and such or if i was like oh child if i would have went the other way this and this and that but then when i got to that point it's just like these people that situation that sequence of my life taught me so much about myself where I, I didn't allow myself to be in that boundary. You know, I didn't have solid boundaries back then. You know, and they tell you, never regret those. You know, never regret those experiences. Never allow yourself to hold yourself attached to different things that people have done. I've been there. You know, I'm like, oh, such and such did this and this and this and this and that. I'm at that bar like, you know what? They, they put me some changes that changed me for the better. Cut and dry. He's like, what happened? It was enough to change me, right? Yeah, enough to change me on how I looked at life, how I approached, how I, you know, carried myself, how I represent myself, you know, not allowing what other people's opinions and what they say about me be important to me is none of my business. It's how I carry myself, how I define myself. You know, um, everybody's going to have a different version of you. You know, there'll be times that they love you. There'll be times that people can't stand you. There'll be times that people, just because the fact is you weren't rocking in the same kind of, you know, pollution of of, of projection with them. They, they'll create all type of false narratives about you because they how they see you is how they want other people to see you as well. But these are the situations that's really nurturing you. And a lot of times, like, how the heck is karmic cycles nurturing me? Because it's showing you about yourself where the healing needs to take place at. It's your own problem solver. You know, you, you're your own context clue on what needs to take place. You already know if there are certain things that people can say is very hateful to you. You know, when you have gotten to that point where you are in good, they have groomed you. You know, um, it, it can really, you know, be dehumanizing. You know, I've seen it all a lot. I've seen it a lot. And it showed me where, you know, where I really needed to get into my self-evaluation on where I needed to be. And, it, you know, and it's true. Any kind of weaknesses that you have, if you have attachment issues uh, where you're, you're connecting with people and want to be clingy all the time with different folks, you know, and you're not allowing yourself to just take a break. You know, you can still be in love with somebody and be in a great relationship when y'all, you know, you can go have time with your friends or take a personal day where you take yourself out to a spa, treat yourself or whatever. And you don't have to do that. And you can still be in a loving relationship. But these are the things that's showing you where it's going to get you to that point on what you're doing. Because it's like right now, if you're in a karmic situation, I mean, it could be very gutter with you, you know, very, very gutter. People can be treating you all type of ways. But then it's like you you can uh, imagine how it would be in a in a very loving relationship but for you to get there you have to start that loving relationship with yourself Whew. that felt good <laughs> to be able to say that you know you had to have a loving relationship with yourself first 
And it, a lot of times it's, it's kind of hard to say that because you may be in a vibe like, I'm tired of being alone. I want to be able to find my soulmate or I want to connect with my twin flame and all this. And it's like for this to happen, you had to create happiness within yourself for that to happen you know you jump into a relationship you're not all the way healed and you find something that's truly nurturing to you is going to be good to your soul but if you are not healed up all the way just your vibes of what you have gone through that you not uh, didn't allow yourself to attach to or attach to to acknowledge to allow yourself to release let go you can mess up a blessing of a lifetime because you still hold on to the other things that's in your life you know I, I i've been there you know i'm like you know why is this got to keep going on? Why is this that? Because I didn't allow myself to accept. I didn't allow myself to let go and appreciate, okay, this is what this is. What I'm appreciating, what this situation taught me, letting it go with love and light, you know, releasing this in, into the world of the universe with gratitude because it taught me how to grow. It taught me how to love myself. It taught me how to know my self-worth. Put Have my, my standards so high you have to be in a nosebleed section just to just connect with that you know and all those different things it allowed me to show like what i used to allow myself to go through i'm like girl if you don't have a whole couple of seats you letting all that stuff going on in your life and now i'm just like i appreciate that you know it was hard being alone you know but then i noticed that when i started connecting with people over what i didn't want to I, what i purposely avoided um i allowed myself to really you know, I, I really just allowed myself to really deal with a lot of things that what I would do now, I would have left a hot, you know, even when I would have felt your your frequency change that quick, I would have left right outside. About as quick as it changed, it'd be quick, I'm out the door. I'm almost 45. You you only got time to blink with me twice, on, uh, and that message doesn't sound, doesn't sound normal. You know, I'm like, oh, okay, that's an irregular blink. I got to go, because that blink is really... I, I really don't understand what you got going on with your eye, and I, I just can't deal with that because that, that's not something that you usually do, you know. And then just be able to allow myself to really just go go with that flow and flow with it, not force it, not try to control anything. And you'll notice what different things, you know what your weaknesses are. If you're trying to control things, you got put in a situation that's going to be constantly out your control. If you were up in a situation where you didn't love yourself, you're going to understand why th this situation is going to make you love yourself. It's going to be you're going to be more in love with yourself than anything else because you know when you place all that love into your life, you're not going to be willing to bring anybody in there that's not going to match that or exceed it. You know, and those are the things that you know. And people are like, oh, she an itch and she she all this she picky and picky. Let me be that. I'm like, let me be that, and I don't care. You know, let me be that. Because the fact is, I'm not going to allow anything to come up in my life that's going to destroy so much I don't work hard for. I'm not going to do that. I, I know what I bring to the table, and I don't mind sitting up here eating it by myself. And you have to be that way with yourself. When you're very secure, some people are like, oh, you're being arrogant, you're being narcissistic. Call it what you want. That's just me being safe with myself. I ain't playing safe, but I'm going to keep myself very protected. You have to. Your energy is very critical. Your focus is very critical because the fact is what you focus on, what you what you entertain, you start becoming. And you have to be, make sure those choices, make sure those things are prosperous towards you. You know, and you have to be very selective about that. And when you start being aggressive about your choices, you, anything that comes in to manipulate that is already going to come off. You know, I've had people where they were like, oh, I want to talk to you, get to know you. Well, there are certain things I'm not going to talk about. You know, and I tell people, you know, that off Jump Street, like, what you, what you got to hide something? No. But I'm just trying to see where your intentions is coming from. You know, I, I got a YouTube channel. There's a lot of different things that I came out with, you know, make like people, oh, let me get to know her. You know, and all those different things. Now it's just like, I'm, I'm here to help other people as they are here to help me. And that's good. But I got to make sure your intentions are straight up on point with me. You know, it's like I don't grow so much. I know when the when when the energy is being shifty and you hiding something. I already know that. You know, and being okay with that. And if it's just something that I, is questionable, God is allowing me to get into that connection so I can learn from that too. And you still gonna appreciate that because you can be real sure about yourself, but universe is like, you know what? They still need another lesson because you're never too old to learn something new. And if we if sometimes we forget that we can get full of ourselves and say, "Oh, I done grown out of this and this and that." God, it makes sure I'm finished. No, He ain't finished with you yet because you're still learning. You 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 still a product of His of His nature on what He designed, and He already know there's too many things out there that don't want to see you shine like that because everything that moves through you is showing how God is possible, and the devil don't like that. You know anything that shows that God is working through you. 
he don't like that. So he'll destroy anything and everything. And this is where it's putting you in full alignment with yourself of power because you're becoming more sure with yourself. You're becoming to the point where you're being selective. Is this going to entertain? Is this what I'm entertaining is going to be nurturing to my soul? If it's going to be damaging, I got to go. Everything that, everything that glitters does not go. You know, and you have to be able to understand that. So when you're allowing yourself to really grow through that, you're going to see your past situations uh, your past connections, your past experiences, uh, experiences as being something that was very fruitful to your soul. And you're going to know that, you know, at that time, it, you know, and it's okay for you to feel like, oh, I hate this person or I hate this situation and I'm tired of this. I'm tired of that. I've been there. You know, anything that you're going through that is showing you uncomfortable is going to be beneficial. Because it, it couldn't be comfortable for you going through these different things because you'll never learn anything. And I had to tell myself that. I'm like, girl, come on with the, come on. You heard what? I had to learn that. And I had to really learn that. This is getting uncomfortable because this is benefiting me. You know, that's just like when your parents say it's going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you. Like, hey, I'm the one who's getting the rough end of that switch or that daggone belt or that paddle. Yeah, but it's going to hurt me to have to do this to you because I see where it's going to come through. You know, later on in life. And this is what God does. God will break you just to make you. He'll break you away from everything that is toxic to you. He wants you to make choices. It's not going to see. It's going to break your heart to keep breaking his. He wants you to learn right. He wants you to have to go through that. So for him doing that, he will constantly place you in the middle of the lines then. Just to be able to do that. You know, and I know different times I was up here that said Judas and that was Daniel. So I apologize, y'all. Because I know some of these Bible readers like, girl, that was Daniel. That wasn't Judas. You know, but I... I Coming back, I'm correcting myself. Correct, correct. You know, because I was like, oh, it was Judas in there with that lines. Then, oh, it was Daniel. So, but yeah, he'll put you in there where it's just like you're in the middle of that. There's so many different karmic cycles that's happening to you right now. But if you're protected, ain't nothing gonna come in and disturb that. It may disturb your mind at times because you're so focused on healing and you're always trying to say, you know, like or you'll say, not always trying to say, but you'll be saying, why does this keep coming at me when I'm trying to be right with myself? Why does this keep happening? Why, you know, why does the devil keep trying to intercede when I'm trying to sit up here and white walk in the righteousness of God? Because it's that's where the faith comes in at. That's where your strength comes in it because if you're just walking and ain't nothing coming at you you don't you ain't gonna ever know where your strength really lies at you ain't never gonna know where your your magic is placed at your power is at because you you walk in that straight line and you don't have nothing coming to rock you it ain't something that's gonna make you tremble and something gonna make you double take on, on two steps back two steps forward two steps back like that Paula Abdul song you know um and you you going through all those different things to where you had to be trained in that way this is how God is really going to show your strength. And I've there's times I had to stop myself where I was crying to the point it felt like my heart was going to bust out my chest. And I had to tell myself, girl, if this didn't happen, will you really know how strong you are? If certain things that you really wanted to invest in your life, where did that, where would that determination come from if you weren't constantly tested? You weren't constantly railroaded by people that you trust and loved. You weren't constantly, you know, um, having people in your life that was trying to rip it apart. People that you didn't know. People that you didn't know. People you supported. How would you know where that, that energy of being hungry like a wolf is coming from? How do you know where that tiger of a vibe that you carry to be consistent with your own self? If you don't invest in yourself, who the heck will? If you don't believe in yourself, how do you expect somebody else to believe in you? You want love. Are you investing that love in yourself through the love that you want? All these different things is coming in. And I had to tell myself that, you know, you, 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 you never know what God has out there for you until you go out there and search for it within yourself. Everything we need is instilled within. And a lot of times it's hard to be able to feel, feel that until you invest in yourself. And when you're investing in yourself, you're becoming in complete alignment with with your, uh, you know, your higher self. You're seeing what was very toxic towards you. You're seeing what is aligned with you. Even if you had to go through a, a certain test and, you know, it was just like, you know what? I had to reevaluate myself. No, I shouldn't have asked that person this, but that's okay. I won't do that again. Or when God tell me to let that person go or let that situation go or let that addiction go, I'm seeing why he said that. And that's when he knows you're, you're investing. It's okay to make a mistake, but are you learning from that mistake? 
mistake? Are you seeing what um, what I was trying to teach you from that person? Because a lot of times we don't understand when God wants us to let somebody go, they will do everything in their mind to hurt us, trigger us, do this, that, and the third, just until you're going to have them that's loving yourself to walk away. Are you going to have that enough love in your life to be able to accept that person for who it is and walk away? That person did exactly what it was supposed to do. It was supposed to rip you apart, supposed to embarrass you, you know, make you look feel some kind of way. Until you allow yourself to say, you know what, I deserve a lot better. You know, I needed this, you know, and I appreciated that because it allowed me to know what I will no longer entertain. And I'll put a post up before. I want to say this is not exes. These are examples I will never do again. You know, and then will allow yourself to be able to appreciate those things. You know, it takes a long time for you not to dog somebody out because they dogged you out. You know, I forgot what social media site I was on where you can tell this girl was real upset about what her ex did to her. She, I mean, she was talking all Val about him. I'm like, this boy don't really touch the nerve on her. Now, she's saying all this about him or whatever. You can imagine, you know, with us women, when we get mad, we start saying all type of different junk about somebody when we hurt. And sometimes you, you put stuff out on social media and I'm like, wow, we do that. You know, and I used to have to tell people and I'd be, you know, you know, stepping on eggshells because I don't want to hurt them or anything like that. But I said, when we get on social media and we start talking bad about people, about what they've done I've been there now it's just like I don't put nothing on social media like that unless it's going to help me grow and help somebody else grow at the same time not about trying to you know teach that person about how foul and foul and trifling that person is they're going to have to learn just like you did <laughs> allow them to do that you know it'd be different if somebody came to you and they came to you correct and saying hey you know I'm dating such and such it's like, like oh lord you know it how is this person with you you know because some people it can go you know that could be a really good person and don't want to see them with somebody and then they end up messing up something for you know for somebody else or are you really seeing the danger of a lion's den of hell that you about to walk into with this person you're like baby I'm gonna yet pray for you <laughs> because I'm telling you I needed that a lot to go through mine but it's just like you can tell you know this person say oh he they ugly they stuff is this and this and that and but it was just like but you picked them though you choose to stay with them was it all like that when you were with them and be like damn you know and you have to think of it that way we i've been there it's like well you were dealing with it you you like that when when you were with them now all of a sudden when you really don't show us true colors about itself now you want to get mad and want to tell all this this man business you want to tell all that woman's business like that but you that was something that you picked though that's something that you choose to entertain though but you just allow yourself to say okay this is how that person is allow them to be able to you be the villain in their narrative of their story especially if you know and i always told people female or male if they ever came back you weren't crazy put it that way if they were they were crazy than you just for the fact is they wanted to entertain that mess for a second time you know so just allowing yourself to do that but you know all 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 gets jokes or whatever but it, it's just you these are the things that you had to go through these are the things that helped you heal. These are the things that help you come into a close encounter with yourself in full full spectrum. You know, and really knowing yourself because you didn't say this situation helped me love myself a lot more. This situation has allowed me to have higher standards of myself for what I choose to bring into my sacred space. These situations allowed me to know my worth in more ways than one. And then when we start thinking like that and we start feeling like that and seeing like that, we start making better choices with ourselves. And that's where you come in a full alignment, full blown throttle with yourself and you're going to be able to be appreciative of that. And, you know, going through these different things, it, it'll teach you so much about yourself to where if something came approaching you about something that you already know is not true, you're like, well, okay. You know, like, so what you want me to do? He's like, you ain't got to say no that ain't even a part of my life no more I'm not about to enter that in my life anymore you know if, if that's what wants to be said or that's what I suppose so called not let so be it I'm, I'm in a good place right now and, and better place forever you know and I'm in a good place you know good headspace so I don't need to allow myself to re-enter those different situations and there will be certain times where universe will allow that to be that opportunity just to see how are you going to allow yourself to respond to it you know and it'll happen you gotta understand when you're going going and growing within yourself universe and god will play so so many tests just to see how you'll start doing things and they'll notice throughout that test and you'll know 
and it'll show you how much you done set up here and changed within that situation and and having you just be able to say you know what i needed that this has helped me grow and it helped me invest in myself in so much more and you're going to appreciate those situations that showed you where i needed to tweak myself at where i need to change where what what was i really needed to see uh when it was coming to me indirectly and allow me to see it directly for what it is and these are the things that's going to show you you know you're your own cheat sheet so to uh to a better existence so better way of list living let me put it that way your your energy is existing in powerful ways and it really wants you to align with that so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video y'all and i would um leave all my contact information in the description box below as well as the link to my podcast i'm starting to share a little bit more of those on here on the tube of you so you know if you can't get the you know you can't get the visual you can always get the audio as well i really love doing those you know and i've been getting a lot of comments about that. It's like rosin those are truly good and that's how i'm glad you know this is like a positive outlet for me and just being able to know what i've learned and what you know the insights that i can see through the power of change i would love to invest that with other people because you just don't know what's going on behind closed doors with other people and being transparent and being able to know, you know, you know, you've been with me for a while. I hate being vulnerable in front of anybody. That's just that is just prideful of me. I don't like being vulnerable. It's like especially when I get in my emotion, I'm like, oh, y'all, please don't make me cry because I've had it. You know, where I can be on live and people will say something so beautiful, or I can feel their energy in certain things, and all of a sudden you'll just see my face turn red. And I'm like, oh my god, this is way too much. Let me, you know, just ready, just you know, just blow out their emotions. I don't want to deal with it. But, you know, it's pretty much of a very, very big blessing for me to be able to do this. Um, like I said, this is like y'all are my soul diary. Being able to say, you know, I've healed from so many different things and I'm still growing and still learning about myself. You know, not being shameful, but just saying, you know what, there was a little bit more I needed to learn. And it's okay. You know, don't beat myself up about it because, you know, you can be your own worst enemy and your own worst critic. So, you know, I'm hoping that you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Hope y'all have a blessed, you know, a blessed, safe, peaceful weekend. You know, um, if you need to lay back and take a rest, because, you know, if you've been, you know, light working and purging and, and clearing and all that stuff, you know, go ahead, you know, press that pause for you to relax, relate, release. You deserve that. You earned that. So, um, like I said, I'll leave my, my contact information in the description box below. It's all, you know, about networking, spiritual networking. Just be able to help you get a further depth of your, your life purpose. You know, getting a clearer understanding about it. You know, people bring different things to me to ask me my insight about it. Or if this is normal, I always tell people, hey, Oka, it normal does not go in the same sentence. You're very rare. You're a hybrid. You're hidden in plain sight. You know, you're God's gem. And you know, so you can't be using those type of words. So anything that happens is... is is, is common in our lives put it that way it's not common in everybody's life but it's common in our lives so there's a lot of things that people tell me would never have me shook because i'm like lord i've been through it i heard from it it'll be sometime i'm like damn that really happened but yeah, i believe it you know but yeah i hope you have a blessed safe weekend whatever you are trying to manifest into your life if you are still struggling through different things you're constantly having setback and setback and setback trust and believe god is putting you in that slingshot so when he keep pulling you back it's only be about time when he let go of that rubber band your butt gonna be flying so i hope you got your seat buckle and you won't have a heavy stomach because it's gonna be it's gonna be a ride so you know, whatever you, whatever is being placed on your, your uh, manis, you know, I'm, I'm placing so much loving energy on you on the weeks ahead. That is going to be so much bigger and better than you ever imagined. Those going to open doors is going to make you go to your knees and, uh, and crying emotional gratitude for all the times you did not give up on yourself. And you did not sleep on yourself. So no, even when you're predicting it may be forever. You just don't know. It could be right around the corner. So. And social distancing, make sure you give out love, like, positivity, words, by frequencies. You never know. All those things really take somebody a long way. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.